what I'm now going to do is to pay the supplier. From the Purchases Control Centre, if I click on the Pay Bills button, up comes a screen where I can enter the supplier's name and determine which invoices of his I wish to pay. The supplier is going to be my supplier. I merely start typing in the name and it will fill out automatically. Underneath that, the statement text, payment one. We can change that if we wish to. I generally don't. It's asking over here for our check number. The check number, I'm just going to leave it as one. I've seen people change it to electronic funds transfer or EFT if they're paying electronically. If you're actually writing a check, then I would suggest you use the actual check number. The date I'm going to be doing it, it defaults to today's date. And the amount that I'm going to be paying, I might decide to pay all of his bills or just the very first one. Yes, why not? The first one only. $110. And then I need to say which invoices of the supplier I'm going to apply against. If I click in the little column amount applied, it will use the amount. If, for example, I've decided to send him $300 on account, put in $300 into the amount, and I can click on amount applied, and the balance will be applied against the next item down there. Having done that, I can then click record, I know I can go off and either write a check or make the appropriate funds transfer out of my bank account. Having sent the money off to my supplier, it would be a good idea to tell him which invoices the money relates to. If I click on print email remittance advices, up will come a screen asking me which remittance advices I wish to send. I need to tick in the column to indicate that that's the one I wish to do if I wish to print it off. If I wish to email it, I'm going to have to do something because it doesn't show up in there. If I click back on printed and click on the white arrow, down the bottom of the remittance advice delivery status, it says to be printed. If I change it to to be emailed and click OK, it will now appear on the email tag. And if I click there, I would also need to tell it the email address. If I put in an email address for him, and if I click send the email, and it will now send the email for me, and away we go.